This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Magus and i kind of been waiting all day to do this. Um, kind of did a talk online where I was doing a um, just chat. Just chatting stream on Twitch, but wanted to kind of give myself a while to just kind of reflect and process all this stuff, which, to be honest, I still can't process what has gone on in the last 24 hours um, in the Washington, D.C. area. This is madness, y'all. This is fucking madness. Never in my life would I ever thought that we'd see... Domestic terrorism on this level. And yes, it's domestic terrorism. I don't care what people want to say or how they want to downplay it. Those were the domestic terrorists that stormed the Capitol building in downtown D.C. They had a consolidated plan to push into a federal building and to hold it hostage in order to get political change that they wanted and the funny thing is the political change that they wanted is what to give an election to someone who lost an election to uphold this fucking bitch ass three or third grade education leveled connie huckster of a reality tv star in the position of the presidency that's what they wanted they wanted to ensure that Donald Trump remained as their king, basically. This is a cult. This is a fucking cult. And it is a cult that has deified this guy in the same way that Al-Qaeda did Bin Laden. Let's not fucking mince words here. Let, and let's not be, like, let's not play around with this. He is to his supporters what Bin Laden was to them because they feel like they have the right to be, you know, to they have the right to establish a government that only only caters to their wants, needs, and the way of life that they feel that we should live. They want to punish liberals for wanting to do the things that liberals do. And Trump is their orator. He always talks about how liberals do this, how the media does that. And they're like, yeah, I'm with you. We need to punish these people who are trying to quote unquote oppress us. Oppress fucking what? 99.9% .9 of the people who support Trump are white Americans. And in America, white people have always been the predominant force, no matter what. Yes, we've had changes, we've had improvements, all of that stuff. I am not one to sit here and say that nothing has improved. But the reality is, for all the improvements, there's still a hell of a lot more things that has remained the same. And there's a hell of a lot more to do to establish a truly equal society where everybody is allowed to live freely and be able to pursue like that whole the pursuit of happiness thing that they said with the um, creation of the Constitution, life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Not everybody is afforded that opportunity. It's still that way. And these people want it to remain that way. And they want to punish anybody who fights against that ideology. They see peace as the enemy. They see equality as the enemy. And Trump has fucking rallied them to the point where they were they 
they fucking rushed the goddamn Capitol. And I, you know what? They didn't just rush it. They were allowed to get into the Capitol. Because there's so many people in places in law enforcement, including the U.S. Capitol police, that allowed it. Now, maybe this was a pre-constructed plan. Maybe they were ordered to let them in. Who knows? We don't know exactly the details. Of it. It's very possible because, again, Trump held a speech right before this happened and told them to march down fucking Pennsylvania Avenue to the Capitol. He didn't say break in and get it, but he told them go there and, like, you know, protest and to let them know you're unhappy. With the election results, because he thinks that it's a fraud, because he doesn't think that not near one of the 80 million plus people who voted for Biden wanted to vote for Biden. Everybody wanted to vote for Trump because he sees himself as some type of God because of the way that these people revere him. And that fucking, you know... The fucking cult-like mentality just exploded. Never in my life would I have thought I saw the Confederate flag flying in the White House. We fought a civil war, y'all, where that flag was the banner of traitors. And they never got as far as Virginia. And only because Virginia was one of the states that joined the Confederacy. Well, no, let me get take that back. They did get to Pennsylvania because there was Gettysburg and things like that. But they never, like, were able to get to the Capitol and do what they did to the Capitol. These people who thought, I don't know, I guess they felt like they're sick and tired of being pushed around. Like, you're fucking, like, I'm, I'm sorry, but... Most of those people were probably upper middle class white people who never had to really suffer a day of their lives. Or they were like very, very poorly educated, low income white people who who for some reason are still in that old fucking mentality that like somehow their problems is because other races are allowed to get an opportunity. It's a mix between those two crowds. Either way, they don't have any grasp of reality as far as how things go in life, as far as I'm concerned. Um, So they thought that this was the way to go. They broke in, they smashed shit, they defamed, like, property. They came in with guns. You had fucking Congress members and senators all fucking, like, hiding in places, you know. Because there were people there who had things like zip ties and stuff like that. They probably were going to try to go after some of the key targets in their minds when it comes to the liberal um, side of things. I'm I 100% guarantee you they were going to do that shit. And, like... I, I just don't understand... Why we aren't fucking, like, arresting these people now. I saw that the FBI is asking for people to help, but... No. They shouldn't have been allowed to let be let in. They should have been beaten back. They should have been immediately re- arrested. They should have all been rounded up and thrown in jail. Because that was an insurrection. That wasn't just no protest. That was an insurrection. And none of them should be afforded... Their freedom right now because that's a treasonous act. They threatened federal employees. They f- they threatened Congress people. They threatened to over- they, they they damn near like what they were doing is about an inch away from trying to overthrow a government because you can't get what you want, and they were able to do it easy- easily. What is going on? Yeah. People getting shot for no reason, choked out for no reason. 
their homes invaded and they're shot up because, you know, cops are geeked up and don't know how to fucking serve warrants. Um, little kids are murdered for playing with toys. A man's being harassed by the police and then shot seven times in the back, can't walk. No more. All this shit. For people just living their lives. Or if you talk about protests, you know, the tear gas, the beatings, the arrests. That happen to people who are asking you not to beat them. Not to shoot them. Not to harm them. These motherfuckers want a goddamn psycho clown to continue to be president. So that they can continue... To feel like white supremacy and white privilege dominates all. It's insane, y'all. It's fucking insane. And it's sad. It, this is truly, truly sad. <sighs> I don't know what's going to happen from here on out because he has started something that's not going to just go away just with this day. It's not going to go away with just the inauguration. You know, his final day in office, be it they, which they should, by the way, invoke the 25th Amendment and get him the fuck out of here or try to do a flash impeachment and get him the fuck out of here. Whatever way works, get him the fuck out of here. He does not deserve to be there. Like He's never deserved to be there. But more than anything now, you cannot allow him to continue to sit there and to continue to spew the shit that he spews and to continue to rally these people. You need to get rid of him. You need to find as many of these people as possible, arrest and prosecute them, and fucking stop this now. Like, seriously? This is terrorism on American soil, and it needs to be handled. In the way that we handle terrorism on a global level. In this shit now. Proud Boys, get them the fuck out of here. They are a terrorist group. They need to be squashed. Squash them the same way that y'all went after the Black Panthers. Get them the fuck out of here. Because they are an actual terrorist group. Ku Klux Klan, it's time to stop playing with these motherfuckers. Get them the fuck out of here. All of these organizations like this. Get them the fuck out of here. Because this is not the way that things should be. Like. It's it's just maddening. It's fucking maddening. And. You know. From the perspective of African American. You ask us to live with this. You, know? you ask us to put up with this shit. You ask us to deal. To be patient. All the stuff that we've sacrificed for this country. And you're upset at us when we get tired and we decide to stand in the streets and shout and scream. Beg you to fucking treat us like goddamn human beings. And these pieces of shit right here. <laughs> are help, help down the stairs and shit like that by police. People who have betrayed their fucking country and their government. We just want to live. They just want to have their way. And they don't care who the fuck they run over. Including the whole United States government, apparently. To get what they want. But we're the bad guys. We're the enemies. We're the criers. We're the whiners. We're the people who are going to cause the violence and all of that stuff. And, you know, we do the worst stuff in the world and all that. Goes back to, like, you know, the whole thing with Colin Kaepernick. He asks us, why do we kneel? Asks us, why do we march? Ask them why they do the things they do. Because they don't have no goddamn, like, legitimate reason to have done what they did. But we're the bad guys.
Anyway, as always, you guys feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll hold you later. It's your boy Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.